I think working with Max in the studio for me is very relaxed. And, um, you know, you, everyone there cares about the song. You know, he's a song writer and a producer. Um, it's like what he was born to do. And he's so good at it. <laughs> for me, working with him, we have very similar writing styles. And I think the level of um, intention that he puts into the song and, um, you know, you leave no stone unturned, as the saying goes in English, no stone unturned, um, to really find what's the best, you know, lyric and melody and production for the song. He does put a lot of focus on the vocals, but I think, I think Max hears the vocals like an instrument, you know, um, and I think that's how, that's how you should treat it. You know, um, there's a certain way to sing certain songs that is going to be even catchier and even hookier. Um, and if the melody's great, which I think he focuses a lot on the melody as well, um, then, you know, we, 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 I call them earworms. You know, Max is a, amazing at, at, at making earworms. At the time when I first worked with Max and when it was Britney and Backstreet Boys, it was just like, those songs were one after the other, after the other, after the other, and you could still go back and listen to them and they're just great songs. Working with Max is a, a lot of laughter. Um, I think the funniest part about our relationship is neither one of us wanted to work together originally. Um, it's not that we didn't want to, it's just that we weren't both, we weren't jumping up and down. Um, so I brought three bottles of wine and we started on the first and we were not gonna write a song until we got through the first bottle. And in that time, it kind of took the pressure off. Max is so musical, you know, he's known outside of people that know him for pop music, right? Singles, he's the single guy. but. His knowledge of music is so vast. He's such a closet punker. Um, he knows more about records that, I mean, he just, he's, he amazes me. And I really got a chance to get to know him and you just fall in love with him really easily. I think what he is good at is, is holding me back, actually, because I tend to oversing um, and I tend to take everything to church. And the louder I scream, the better it feels in life, singing or not. <laughs> So I think what he's great at is stop, take a deep breath, simplify. He's, he's really good at, I mean, a great chef says the most important ingredient is the thing you leave out. And I think that's also great for producing. That, that's what he brings is he, he sort of takes all of you and then goes, these parts are fantastic, let's work with this. How do you create? Creating is a miracle, and he is one of the best creators I've ever met. He just, he just hears stuff. It makes you angry. Because we could listen to a track, and I'll hear something, and I automatically can't stand it, but I hear it, like that's what I hear. And then he comes out with something, and you're like, why can't I hear that? I wanna hear that first. Why can't that be the first thing I hear? You're a dick. <laughs> it's kinda like that. Working with Max Martin is awesome because he is such a huge fan of music and he's such like a, um, he, he has really infectious energy. And, uh, and the coolest thing about Max is that he's, he's the most obsessed with music and that's it. Like there's no other thing that's in the room with you. Like there are no politics and there's no money and there's no anything other than like, he just loves to make music and he's amazing at it so. Um, He's just one of my favorite people I've ever worked with in my life. I think that Max's secret is probably something along the lines of the simplest, most effective thing is always the best. And that when you complicate it too much, it gets very, um, I don't know, there's something very natural about what he does in a, in a weird way. Like I think that people probably criticize him for being too formulaic, but I think that people are completely wrong. I think it's so much more about, um, 
just the simplest thing is the most effective because it impacts the listener the the the, um, the most. And and I I, love, I learned so much from working with him for that reason because I would always get really complicated and he's he kind of strips a lot of that away and I think that's one of the coolest things about about what he does. Max is great in the studio. He's he's a perfectionist, which I totally respect, and I look up to that. So being with him is kind of hard because I'm always scared that I may do something wrong. So, um, you know, I have to pull out my goods when I work with him. But it, he's a lot of fun to work with. He's an amazing person and um, very, very talented. Um, usually when he works with my singing, he um, we have two other producers that come in. He usually writes the songs for me. Um, he, come, he comes in with the vocals towards the end and perfects them and makes them brilliant and genius. So, yeah. I was in Stockholm for two weeks recording Baby One More Time, the album, and um, it was very, very cold. And um, he went on a lot of dinners and um, very nice place. And he's just a very unassuming guy, you know. He's, he's very to himself and a very private person and um, very talented. Max and I have worked together for a very long time. Um, but he definitely has great energy. Um, he's a good person, a kind person, and I think he kind of um, sets the scene for it to be really creative. He he's happy to search for whatever you want, road you want to go down, um, songwriting wise. Um, and he's a friend and a listener, not just someone that is a, you know, titan of his industry. And obviously, we know Max um, has achieved so much in his life, so he could always be really forceful in the sessions. But he's actually there to learn something as well. So it's really just like a, a wonderful back and forth. It's a very, it's a volleying of the ball of sorts. Um, but he's just a real delight to be around and always wants to take chances and uh, loves music, like isn't jaded by music, just loves music. Oh, well, he is um, extremely detailed when it comes to vocals. And he's a great singer himself, you know, so he'll go in there sometimes and he'll be singing gibberish um, with no lyrics and we'll go and like try and hash out the lyrics, but his melodies are so incredible and so sophisticated but simple, um, but he is very, um, very specific when it comes to vocals and a bit of a task master. You know, I'll, I'll have to do it sometimes uh, more than I think that I think we we have it, and he'll just get me into a place where I'm I'm singing from the heart. I'm not in my head about it, um, and. Yeah, he's just, he's very specific. He knows exactly what he wants. Max and Dennis were responsible for the whole birth of Backstreet Boys, our sound. Um, I think even kind of helping us find ourselves within our image, within whatever encompassed the Backstreet Boys was Max and Dennis. And, you know, as soon as Dennis passed away, Max, kind of took the torch and just kept moving forward. And he's done nothing but make the most amazing music, I think, of all time, of our generation, of generations to come. Max is a genius. He really, truly is a genius. His sound was always uh, transcending. You know, it was always ahead of the game. And that's important in music. Um, we didn't realize, we didn't realize at that young age how important it was um, and the people that we would influence with our songs and with Max's melodies. But for him, like AJ said, everything um, is owed to a guy like Max. I mean, we called him a, a studio rat in the very beginning because he was just an engineer that was thrown in there and was in a rock band and, uh, and had some melodic sense of how things work. And um, he's truly a genius, and uh, we owe everything, especially in our our career, to him. First thing I learned about Max as a <laughs> singer was this thing, this freaking <laughs> he hand. His hand, this hand. <laughs> like there was a certain rhythm that you had that that Max heard, and it was if you were singing it like off, or you were singing in your own rhythm in your own way. It was always on top. Yeah, Max would say, "No, no, no, do it again, right here, right here." 